it if you don't know, Young Thug Lloyd gets arrested for refusing to tell a court who told him information about a private in chambers meeting that no evidence, no no defense attorney, which they're the defense because they're trying, the prosecution is trying to prosecute Young Thug and them. So it's saying that there was a private meeting in the chambers with no defense attorney because they're supposed to be present when any type of intervention is happening, was invited to. It's speculated that YSL Woody attorney shared confidential meeting information with Young Thug's, wait, confidential meeting information with Young Thug's attorney, which the judge believes is a major violation. Thug lawyer contends that the meeting was improper without any defense attorney and the judge says him knowing about the meeting is highly improper since he didn't reveal who told him the information he was taken into custody after being held in contempt all right mr Steele's in uh, in custody um and uh, once he clears the area we'll go ahead and get started Yeah, we're going to continue. I'm not caught nothing. I'm about to say, I think this is the end of it, best one. This is the end of it? Yeah, that's not showing the part when with the lawyer. The lawyer's already locked up. And, oh, okay. take, Mr. take Mr. Steele in the custody. Isn't that him right here? No. Yes. Oh, yeah, yes, it is. I can't see. I'm sorry. I told you it was not. Go back. All right. Mr. Steele's in uh, in custody. Um, and uh, once he clears the area, we'll go ahead and get started. Yeah, we're going to continue. I'm not caught nothing. You you don't have that luxury at this point in time, sir. You don't. You don't. You don't have that luxury. You don't have that luxury at this point in time. You don't. Sir, that sir, you you all are re you all are really getting yourselves cross purposes at this point in time. I, I sir, I'm telling you, you are at this point in time. You made some things out of nothing. I think that you're I think that you're on very precarious ground at this point in time. So, I'm telling you. Hold on, I'm sorry to pause well, I, it, yo, but this nigga got too much neck movement for me, bro. Who is that? The judge got too much rolling of the motherfucking neck, bruh. I was saying, it's a video of Best Friend that was showing how they even got to this part. Where the video at? We're getting into it. I, I sent it to you. I believe you. You sent it to me? I my... it. God damn it. God, God damn it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <clears throat> you, yeah. send it, you, you sent it to my regular page. Yeah, I'm about to send it to you right now. Send it to me. All right, my bad, folks. That's this not, is, all right. Here we go. What I was told. If it's not true, not true. This court Mr. handed Mr. Me, Copeland. Tell me how. Tell me how you perjury. got. Tell me how you got the information. Let me, let, listen. Whatever you want to do. Tell, tell me I'm how you got it. the information. Then we can I'm, go ahead and go forward. I'm not going to say that. What I'm going well, to say is this. I was told, and I hope this concerns the court. It, it concerns told, me that you have proprietary information why is it or proprietary? information that 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 you should not be having that was ex parte. Why? With a party. Why? State of Georgia. How about the witness? How about Mr. Copeland, who supposedly announced he's not testifying and he'll sit for two years and then supposedly no, that's, this honorable court. Okay. Or excuse me, let me rephrase that. This court supposedly said, I can hold you until the end of this trial. Miss Hilton supposedly said actually all of the defendants and then all 26 people are disposed of. If that's true, what this is, is coercion, witness intimidation, ex parte communications that we have a constitutional right to be present for. So I understand that you're upset towards me, but I don't Ms. know what I did. Mr. Steele, I, I still want to know, should. how did you come upon this information? Who told you? What I want to know is why wasn't I there? Why Sir, I'm going to hold you in contempt if you don't tell me who this. I'm not, I tell, me, tell me who this information don't was coming from. Don't want to be held in contempt. Well, I'm then, not answering that question. That's attorney-client privilege information. I am not answering uh, attorney-client privilege. Unless you were in my chambers, that's I'm, the only way you can figure out. I am. Telling I tell you, you what. I'm going to give you five minutes if you don't tell me. Don't who have you, to. I'm if gonna, you don't tell me who it is, I'm going to put you. In, well, I'm, me, I'm, I'm going to put you in contempt I because. Understand. 
That is not attorney-client privilege. This is what I was told. If it's not true, not true. This court Mr. Steele. Okay. Copeland. Okay, okay. Yeah. No good. No good. Okay. That That's no good. Um, that's what I was asking, yeah. Well. Hmm. Somebody From, told me that the lawyer would be the one, like, somebody told me that the judge is actually right because the lawyer is the one who's presenting, you know, this, this statement and that he can't present this statement without, like, proof of discovery. But... And I don't know how true that is. He was like, so because he's the one who's making the he can't make allegations like that without some type of proof of discovery, which is I guess him telling where he got that information from. But if let's just say for whatever reason, you know, Thug got his own intel outside of the lawyer, and somebody presented that to him, and Thug is the one who told him that information. Is it now client, like he said, client uh, attorney privilege, and that's why he don't have to say. Where the discovery came from? Hmm. Give, give, give me a, give me a second. Let, let me comb okay. through my own <laughs> through, through my own court proceedings to try to make sense of of what what's happening because. Hmm. From my understanding, attorney is right. Mm-hmm. From, from from the standpoint that when some sort of deals and in meetings are happening between right. all of them, there's supposed to be three. There's always, mm-hmm. so there's always supposed to be a three way. Mm-hmm. That's between the judge. Now, so hold on. It's not always supposed to be a three way. It can be two way, but the two way has. When those type of things has to happens, it always has to be involving bare minimum the prosecution and the defense. The prosecution and the defense can discuss with each other and not include the judge. Right. But not the opposite, not the judge with one or the other. Hell nah. From my understanding, hell nah. That's not supposed to happen. Look how upset he got the minute he brought that up. Now, with that being said, I think the judge is is right that he has to tell him. Where he got his information from. Yep. But like I said, if he got it from his client, is it now client attorney privilege and I don't have to tell him? But then would he have to say at least I got it from my client? I think I think that's what I see, I think that's what it is. But I that think might he would have to say that. And that might fuck him over if he got it from his client. But do it matter either way? Did y'all do it or not? Holding him in contempt makes me think because he really so, so, got him so, 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 Yeah, so this is the reason why I think that's that's a slippery slope because say he does say he got it from Thug. Okay, then where did Thug get it from? He got it from the people that's supposed to be cooperating to get him hemmed up. See, now, now you created a triangle where he's not supposed to be in contact and communication right. with the yeah. opposing, with the prosecution side. I think the judge got a master. I mean, not the judge. I think the lawyer got a master plan. I think that's why he was willing to go. And, and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And get and, and get locked up because I think either way, this is going to come back on the judge. That shows the discrepancy of the entire situation. That yeah. that shows that shows that this is not a fair that this isn't a fair trial. But the crazy he part is the and he did not Yeah. He okay. the, the crazy part about this trial is that this judge has actually been cooking the prosecutors, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been watching mm-hmm. this shit. This nigga been cooking the prosecute the prosecutors for real. For real. Like, he's been on their ass. Like he been like nigga, y'all niggas been fucking up. No, throw this out. I don't want to hear that. That like he's been cooking their ass. I ain't gonna hold you. But yeah, he he definitely seemed he definitely seemed you know up in what's the terms uh, the term up in arms about all of this. Mm-hmm. I want to see if I can find this whole clip right here. I'm not gonna hold you. Let me let me see. <clears throat> Let me see how much how much of this is even gonna pop up. I don't want to sit here and watch this all damn day. Nigga, this don't even show a time, motherfucker. Huh. If 
you're a man who makes at least 150 grand a year and you're still embarrassed to take your shirt off at the pool, I will. You, you all are real. You all are real. Uh, it's not. It's not. That's not what. That's. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Damn, it's a whole bunch to it. It's a whole damn playlist. Okay, I see. All right, here goes the, this is the whole. This well, the judge in the ordeal. YSL RICO trial sent a key witness to jail today to for refusing to testify on the stand. So during today's proceedings, Kenneth Copeland, also known as Lil Woody, refused to answer the prosecutor's questions and then invoked his Fifth Amendment against self-incrimination to avoid testifying. So he had agreed previously to testify for the state Judge Ural Glanville then excused the jury and arrested Copeland for contempt of court. Glanville has ordered Copeland to return Monday to testify. Okay. And then this. And Mr. Copeland, good afternoon. Do you want to be here? Ma'am. Do you want to be here? I'm here. Okay. Well, are you going to let me ask you some questions? Okay. How old are you? Grown. Okay. What does <laughs> grown mean? I'm an adult. Okay. And when you say you're an adult, what number in years are you? I plead the fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, can I get you to step outside to your headquarters of jury deliberation, please? From <laughs> All right, from here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Our jury has left us. Uh, Mr. Copeland, given the fact that you have invoked your Fifth Amendment privilege, but the state has already given you immunity under 24-5-507, this court holds you in willful contempt, and uh, we'll see you on Monday. And we'll see, we'll see if we uh, can get some more testimony at that point in time. Take them into custody. Okay. Mm. All right, Mr. Steele, do you have the raw file? Okay, so it says Young Thug's attorney criticizes prosecutors judge during YSL trial. I will not be silenced. Glam, sir, you allow another moment when Miss Love calls me that I did not do something. They have the exact image of what we got from the jail in Fayette County. That is it. And if I get another false allegation and you do nothing, I'm shocked. I'm appalled at you. I sit here day after day with this false allegation just machine. I gave the state everything. There's not been no disconstruction. <clears throat> There's been no purposeful, I don't care. I don't care. I give over everything. I've done this for 33 years. Never in my life have I seen a trial. I've done 300 appeals in the state of Georgia alone. I've never read a case like this. Judge, I gave them everything I had. I waited. I was at my office till eight after eight last night. I waited for their investigator to come by. I handed him an exact copy of thumb drive. They have everything that we got from the Fayette County Jail. There's been no deconstruction. There's been no purposeful exclusion. This is not the first time. Okay. And I apologize that I'm getting tempered, but I've never been treated like this. You talk about professionalism every week. Professionalism is lacking with one lawyer here. It has never been. I, I don't even like coming to court. I used to love this. I would die for what we do. I used to say I'm dying. I, I would die. I couldn't choose a better profession. If I had litigated with Miss Love, I would. I would. Your Honor, could we strike no, the I, hominem I, attack? No, I'm really Can we strike the hominem attack? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, <laughs> calm down, calm down. Everybody, <laughs> Miss, both of you sit. Both of you, please be seated. Judge, judge I'm not. Both of you, please be seated. You have to do something. You have threatened me with contempt. You have threatened me with jail. If you go back in time, we can just start in voir dire. Jury after jury, you did individual voir dire painfully. Miss Love would come in and say that juror was crying. It was not true. You would say, that's not my recollection after I said it. You did nothing. 
We start the case. Mr. Steele. I ask you, please. Mr. Steele. How would you feel if you were being treated like this? Mr. Steele. Mr. Steele. I'd like to finish. Mr. Steele. I gave him everything on that drive, and it's continual abuse of a prosecutor of another member of the bar. I don't talk with Ms. Love, and that's fine. I like that. But, Judge, I'm not going to stand here anymore. I don't care. You can take my bar card. Mr. Steele, I'm not trying. I'm not. Listen. But there. And Mr. Williams, you know, to me, this is an innocent man. You talk about Ms. Love said there's a man in the Fulton County Jail who shouldn't be there, Mr. Copeland. Mr. Williams shouldn't be in custody. But he's been charged, and we come here for a fair trial. It's been everything but that, according to Ms. Love has tried to demonize me. At times, Mr. Adams. At times, Mr. Shaw. Now, it's all because she wants to win the case. And now she speaks over people. It's not right. I gave them everything. And by the way, and what I want to tell you, by the way, it's not even the law. If they call that gentleman on direct, I don't have to give them anything before trial. I do it because you asked me to. You said, listen, we got a big case. It's going to take a long time. Give them things. I gave this, by this way, to the state October of 2023. October 2023. That was uploaded. Given to the state. I hear about it now, and I wait there, and I give them the exact duplicate of what we have. And now there's a false allegation of misconduct. And what I'm telling the court is what I said again. I do not appreciate it. And you never, you have told it in front of the jury that I'm unprofessional. You were wrong. You based that on Ms. Love's false representation. Your Honor, again, the ad hominem attacks, Your Honor. I object, and he should stop talking when I object. Ms. Love can try to silence me. I will not be silenced. But, Mr. Steele, here's the thing, okay? I think that, Mr. Steele, please be quiet at this point in time. You made your point. You made your point at this point in time. Both of you, please be seated. Both, please be seated, sir. Sir, please be seated. Whatever you do is fine, but I care about Jeffrey Wood. It's offensive. Sir, it's obvious. I would expect no less because you're his advocate, you're his champion. But could you all please sit down so I can kind of figure out a solution for this? All right. First, let me just kind of address the obvious. I know that time tempers have been heated in this particular trial, and they continue to do so. And I know that all of you are being zealous advocates and representing your clients to the best of your ability with zeal and zeal and rigor. However, I would, I agree that, you know, there should not be ad hominem attacks on anybody or any counsel. And that you all should think and reflect about what you say about your brothers and sisters of the bar. Because we have a, we have a large, large contingent of folks that watch this trial. And I mean, and so, and so not only for the purposes of this, but it just, it sends a, it sends not, not the message I think you want it to send. All right. So I'm going to leave you all to your wise discretion in order to do that. But, um, and I'll take up whatever I need to take up as, as, as I see fit. But I know that you all, uh, this has been a long trial. It's been, it's very demanding, exacting, and grating on, and tiring, uh, on all of you. So, I ask you to just take a couple of deep breaths and step back and see, and kind of look at, and just remember that you do represent, of who you represent and what you're, what you're here for. Um, in terms of the, the tape, or the phone calls from Fayette County. It's the court's suggestion that, and if you want my assistance, I can always, with a proper subpoena, have the raw, whatever it is that you were, whatever you're seeking to get, I could get. When I w- Goddamn, this shit is traumatizing. <laughs> <laughs> I hate watching shit that had to do with court. Honey, but keeps your pro- I'm not going to hold you. Like. But I, I, I just wanted to see what the hell was even being said between these motherfuckers before. You know what I'm saying? Come on, motherfucker, skip that. Ad. What more do you want from me, nigga? What? The time on nah, not yet. <laughs> Wildin'. Lines do develop one developments in interesting ones as 
the attorney for rapper Young. You're, you're straying off the issue. I'm not. I'm the issue is of course before stores rolling as steel removed his jacket and he was taken into custody watch this moment here on live now from fox as we're going to get into what it means uh, in this case there in atlanta georgia of course before storming out of the courtroom the judge told Steele he had five minutes to change his mind or be held in contempt while the judge returned Steele once again refused to reveal how he learned about what was discussed in the judge's private chambers sir tell you're you're straying off the issue. I'm not okay, 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 okay. So I think this is. Tell me this how. Is, tell me how you got. Tell me how you got the information. Let me, let, listen. Tell, you want to do tell me how you got the information. Then we can I, go ahead. And all right, we watched that. We watched that. Okay. Now, let's go to the point where I where I had. I think I think this is the order of which. All right, Mr. Steele's in uh, in custody. Um, and uh, once he clears the area, we'll go ahead and get started. Yeah, we're going to continue. I'm not caught in nothing. I'm not, I'm not going to participate in the trial uh, without the steel. You, you don't have that luxury at this point in time, sir. You don't. You don't. You don't have that luxury. You don't have that luxury at this point in time. You don't. Sir, that sir, you you all are real. You all are really getting yourselves cross purposes at this point in time. I, I sir, I'm telling you, you are at this point in time. You made some things out of nothing. I think that you're. I think that you're on very precarious ground at this point in time. So, I'm telling you at this point in time, he's in custody. We're gonna go ahead and start. You can represent Mr. Williams. That's okay. That's fine. I'll take up the other stuff as uh, as needed, but I'm not going to take it up right now. I will not. Say again. Respectfully, I will not. I cannot. And Sir, I have you have to. Have well, you you're going to have to do the be you're going to have to do the best you can at this point in time because you don't get to extort the court. That's what you're attempting to do at this point in time, sir. Yes, you are. What you're trying to do is I'm not going forward if I don't get this. You know, it, it doesn't work that way, Mr. Adams. And I and and I and I'm and I'm telling you at this point in time, I I would I would just kind of govern yourself accordingly, sir. I'm telling you, as the court under these particular circumstances. Everything will come out as it as it as it as it should. I don't think I don't think, sir, sir. I don't have enough information at this point in time to address it. I don't. But but I'm telling you at this point in time, there is nothing that was given, said, whatever this morning that. But sir, I don't even know your 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 co counsel. Your co counsel won't even tell me who said who said whatever. Okay, okay. And 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 the ch the challenge I'm having in this particular circumstance is that is such a violation of the sacrosanctness of the court's chambers and an ex parte conversation. You're even, you're just glossing over that. You're glossing over that in its entirety. No. It's not, sir, sir. Is not, is not that's not what that's 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 not what happened. That's that's not what that's not what happened. That's not what happened. Something that's happened. That's not what happened. I'm mm -hmm. just telling you, that's not what Something happened. happened. Judge, uh, respectfully, Allegedly. Uh, we are not obligated to simply accept that there's been no violation. We believe that there has been. The only okay, well then you made you you made it. You made you. No, we're not doing that at this point in time. So you you'll have a choice to make. All right, take Mr. Take Mr. Steele in the custody, please. Regarding the appropriate remedy in this type of Okay, all right. May I say one thing, Your Honor? Yes, sir, you certainly may. Mr. Williams does not, not wish to go forward without me being here. You are removing me. 
against um, his will, my will, you're taking away his right to counsel. And you're conducting material parts of this trial without me present, and I can't learn about it by watching online. So for that reason, additionally, I ask for a mistrial. And I assume you deny, but I'd like you to deny our motions for mistrial. You denied the other people. I've, I've, I've denied your motion, but I'll certainly take that under advisement, sir. All right, Mr. Steele's in, uh, in okay. custody. Well, ain't that some shit? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a shit show, bro. It's a shit show, man. Because if something happens for sure, yeah. If 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 the lawyer if the lawyer is, is right on what he's assuming happened, yeah, bro. Then I, I don't know. But as you can see, best friend. And as you know yourself, these fucking courts, man, these niggas be be just wilding flat out across the board on straight bullshit. Like they wake up and like today is bam day. Yeah. Everybody getting bammed on. First of all, first of all, the craziest thing is that all these motherfuckers are all colleagues. The defense lawyers. The prosecutors, the judge, they they are all part of an organization. They all need each other for their jobs. That's why when you don't have an attorney, you're, you're more like not not even really truly because you no know, a big part of it is because you wouldn't know the law like an attorney would. But even if you did, they look down on your ass when you don't have an attorney. This shit is just a big game to these people. They they're trying to get their percentages up. They want W's mm -hmm. and they want more W's and less L's. But at the end of the day, all of this is just it's just people's jobs. But one hundred percent, this the judge is always in the favor of the state, bro. Always. These motherfuckers right here. I don't know what's going on. But if the if what the lawyer is saying actually happened, then yeah, that's no good, bro. I don't know how I don't know how this is going, what's going to happen. But ooh, -wee. because how much money does Young Thug have to keep paying these motherfuckers, and they just keep dragging this further, 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 and further, bro. We gonna see. What you think gonna happen at the end of all this, best friend? I think he come home. Okay. I, I think something's going to go wrong. Like, a lot of stuff is already, like, this, like you said, it's a shit show. I think mm -hmm. it's going to be one major slip up, fuck up on, on their behalf. And it's gonna, I don't know. I think he's going to come home somehow. It don't right. feel real, con like, when it first started, it felt like that. They got his head. But now as it's as it's gone, I'm like, I mean, do they? Chill. Well, we gonna find out, man. We gonna find out. To the twelve people that is watching now, <laughs> went up a little bit. Appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe to my account if you already not subscribed. I'm about to jump off a of stream because I gotta get my ass up. In the morning, work a 12-hour shift, and I know best friend need to go to sleep, too, man. I appreciate you jumping on, best friend. Always. All right, folks. I am out of this bitch. Go watch another damn video or something, and I am...